In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Famicard Pro application for Android devices. You can use this application to monitor your kids' device and before it's too late and help to monitor all their activities and keep them safe. So make sure to install this application only on someone you have authority and please don't misuse it in any way. So without wasting your time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching Snaptex. So let's get started. So first go to a link in the description below and we'll be redirected to a Famicard website like this. So here you can click sign up if you are logging in for the first time to create your own account. But I've already created one so I won't sign up and directly log into my account. So once you created your account, just click on login and login using your details. So once you sign in, you can see that I have purchased the Famicard Pro for Android. So once you see that, you can click here to get the setup guide, how you can set up on your device. So all we can see here is the down the app to target phone, open an.famicardapp.com with a browser on target device and the other instructions, you can go on and use this instruction or else you can just follow the video like I'm doing right now. So I'll just switch back to my device to install the Famicard app on it. So once you're on your target device on which you have to install the Famicard app and monitor it, just open the browser and write an.famigardapp.com and press enter. Then you'll be redirected to this website and it will be taken slide right to download. Just slide right to download the app on the device and click on download anyway and wait for it to get downloaded. Here you can see that my download has been started. So once the file is downloaded, just click on it to install on your device and then click on open and then agree to all the agreements and then login using your login ID and password which you set on the Famicard website and then you can set the child name if you are keeping like multiple accounts so I'll just write child for now and just set the age as well so I'll keep it at 5 and press next so next you need to just accept all this permission you can see on screen so it'll guide you along you can just go on and accepting everything And once you start click on start monitoring everything has been set up then you can proceed to the website and monitor this entire device so i'll show you how so once you're on your dashboard you can see on the left part of the screen all the things that we can do on the target device so over here we'll start with the phone files and on the right bottom of the screen you can see the device so you can clearly see in sync what all is happening so on the dashboard itself you can see the top calls and top messages over here so you can get to know that you know whom the person is calling the most apart from that you can also click on this phone files and get the call logs it will list all the call logs on the device like this and on the messages it will show you all the messages that has been saved on the device itself and then on the contacts you can get all the contacts that has been saved on the device as well so this is also an important feature that i like about this so you also have an option to see the browser history if you are searching for something like you can see i have searched for certain stuff and over here we can see everything so I'll show you a live example of how it works. So when I go to Chrome browser and here I will type in this is a test and if I search for it and then I come to my dashboard again and click on sync. You can see that it has captured the content which I searched for this is a test and when I click on this website and then when it opens the new tab you can see that it's the same search which has done on my phone. So it even that works pretty well. So it also has an option for app activities which shows us how much each app has been used on our device you can see over here total screen time which has been used for each app so from here you can check which app your kid or child is using at the moment the most so you can get to know if they are lying about it or something like that so you can easily note that then we also get an option for key logger which capture all the keystrokes which we type on our device so as you can see i have previously tried it on chrome and you can see all these results are there like this is a test which i wrote in the start of the chrome it has captured that as well and down on our play store if i type keystroke test and if i wait for some time you can see that it has captured that as well like you can see over here it's written like keystroke test so the next amazing feature is location tracking so you can track the location of the device where it's located so it's even helpful if your child is going somewhere and you want to look at like where they are so but for that you need to keep any location services enabled on the target device so here it was off and if i click on on and if you see now if i will refresh it 
and try to locate it it shows us the exact location of the device where it's located and it's really amazing to see that you know it's very helpful for us to locate the target device and you can also see the list of location where device has been going like you can capture it every time and see where it has been updated and all the entire list is given below so next most useful and amazing feature of this application in my opinion is the social apps so it's got all the major platforms all the social apps which usually people use so it gets helpful in that way as well you can see whatsapp facebook messenger snapchat instagram tinder telegram kick viber line wechat qq and like these are all the apps which are available like social media apps available on play store and app store so over here as well i will just test out whatsapp and if i open the whatsapp on the target device and if i type something like i'm writing a message to myself and if i type in the message over here this is whatsapp and when i reload you can see that it has been updated the entire screenshot of the screen is being sent to our dashboard and next we'll also test this instagram like you can see previously as well i have tried doing the instagram and you can see it has captured it and now if i just be on the screen and if i click on sync so it takes a little time to sync on the dashboard as it's all wirelessly over here you can see that that's the entire screenshot has been captured and you can see over here on the our screen just like that you can do with the other apps just a just like that you can do it with other apps as well you can see the list over here you can see it got a lot of remote control options as well such as record calls so if we enable the record calls so whenever the device will be on any call the entire call recording will be sent to our dashboard second we got capture screenshot which captures the screenshot of the device in real time so no matter what the device is doing at the moment i opened google meet and now if i click on capture screenshot it takes the screenshot of the entire screen and send us to our dashboard you can see over here the result and it comes in a very good resolution which is very much readable and understandable and next we got an option to take photos so if i click click on start over here it will take a single picture as it's the first time and as as you can see behind my device there is like a wall and a moon type kept so if i click on capture image and wait for some time you can see the image has been updated of what's behind it captures the image from rear camera not in not from front camera so if i just place the camera on myself and now if i click on shoot it will capture my image and you can see that it's it has come flawlessly and i can see myself very clearly so and this is a really really amazing feature so next at the end we got a data export option which helps us to stay export all the data that we want and save it somewhere safe so in future as well if you want to use that data you can do it very easily so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press that like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing for more amazing tech content like this so this is it for this video i'll meet you in the next one snap tech signing out get up to ho ja hasal tu kar alas pe mitti pa so mat so mat jaag zara ho raha hai sabera so mat so mat jaag zara ho raha hai sabera